Hello what's up, Ali here and on this video we are going to log in an existing PSN account on our jailbroken PS4. And just for the heads up, this is not for online purposes. Having PSN account on a jailbroken PS4 is mainly for remote play and save data purposes. You need to have a PSN account to connect your PS4 to any remote play application. And since PS4 save games are account locked, say for example you want to transfer your games from one jailbroken PS4 to another, it has to be within the same PSN account. On this video, we're going to use my existing PSN account. And since I have formatted my previous PS4, to be able to transfer my save games to this PS4, I need to log in my previous PSN account. My hard drive that has my backup games is already plugged into my PS4. But if we check it here, my PS4 will not be able to detect the hard drive because there is no PSN account currently logged into this broken PS4. Now let us go ahead on the video and show you how we can log in a PSN account on our PS4. For this, we're going to need an application called the PS4 Account Offline Activator. This application should match the current firmware of your PS4. The link will be on our description, so just open the link and click on this port. Download zip to download the file. Just extract the file. And in the extracted folder, just run this PS4 offline account activator. Now we're gonna have to place the IP of our PS4 here. So let's go ahead and go to our PS4. Back to our PS4. Before we enter the IP address, we have to run the PS4 debug first. Now here comes the trick part because we cannot run the gold hand along with the PS4 offline account activator otherwise the application will crash or will freeze along with your PS4. So if you are using a host that automatically loads the gold hand, you will have to reset your gold hand first to a manual mode. Like for me, I am using a ESP automatic jailbreak. I will have to reset my host first. For that, we have to be connected online. So let us go to the network connection first. Set up internet connection. Use whatever connection you are using. Choose custom. Just choose the default setting. But on the DNS, choose manual and use this DNS to avoid automatic updates. Then just click on next. Then go to the internet browser. Reset the host, press option, close window. Settings, delete cookies, and clear website data. And use any web host that has a manual mode. For this, let me just go ahead and use Caro host. And if you are going to use the same web host, use 9.00 new for the latest gold hand and also for the PS3 support. With the PS3 support, you can make sure you are getting the best possible outcome when activating your jailbreak. And once you are here, just choose PS4 debug. And once debug has been loaded, you can go ahead and use the PS4 offline account activator. Let us go ahead and get the IP address of our PS4. We can do that either on the network settings or in the system, system information. Now let us go ahead and enter the IP address of our PS4. Then click on connect. From here, we are going to need the ID of the PSN account and place it here. The easiest way to do that is have a backup of your save file. Now to be able to back up a save file and use a specific PSN account, let's go to my other PS4. And we are also going to use this specific PSN account. Just go to the settings and application save data management. Save data in system storage. Copy to USB storage device. Now we can simply choose which save file we want to transfer or back up. Just keep in mind that whatever PSN account that we're using with this save file 
is the same PSN account that will be logged in when we use this backup. Let us just go ahead and use a Neo2. Select all, then copy. And simply choose the save file that you want to back up. Now let's go ahead and use this one. Select all and copy. And to check the save file, just open the storage that you use to back up your save. Click on the PS4, save data. And these folders are the PSN ID that was used for the save file. But in our case, this is the one that we have just used. Just copy the name of the folder. And here on the application, click on Get Users. We see here that we have two usernames because we have two accounts in our PS4. And the value here is zero because there's still no PSN account logged in to any of our users. So from here, let us go ahead and paste our PSN ID. So this PSN ID will be logged in to the account Kamlon Corner. So just go ahead and click on the set ID and activate. Then click on the get users again. And now you will see that the Kamlon Corner has now a PSN account on its user. On the PS4, we have to restart it first for the PSN account to be fully activated. On the PS4, you can verify that a user has a PSN account if the text is in italic. You will notice Kamlon Corner is in italic, while user1 is in default text. Now let us go ahead and use the Kamlon Corner. Now let us go ahead and see if our PS4 can recognize our save files. Go to the settings, application save data management, Save data on USB, copy to system storage, and these are our save files. Now when you are trying to access the data on USB devices and the system is asking you to update your firmware, that means that you haven't restarted your PS4 yet. After activating a PSN account, you have to restart your PS4 before the application can take its full effect. Now that is the process to transfer a save file from an existing PSN account. Now if you want to transfer a save file from a PS4 that doesn't have any PSN account yet, you can just simply use the Apollo Save tool. You can use this application to log in a dummy PSN account on your PS4 so that you can transfer PS4 games. Aside from transferring save files, once you have a PSN account in your PS4, you may now be able to use Remote Play and also stream on your jailbroken PS4. So just check on our description if you want to use remote play or stream or do both on your jailbroken PS4. Now to use this to create a PSN account, let us go ahead and create a new user. Press and hold the PS button, go to switch user, new user, create new user, accept and skip. Now we will try to log in a random PSN account on this user 3. Now let us go ahead and run our Apollo save tool. Here in the application, just go to the user tools and activate PS4 accounts. So just click this. and choose a user that doesn't have a PSN account yet. Now let us go ahead and choose user 3. Now we have to take a note of this account ID. Then just click on OK and restart your PS4. I also went ahead earlier to log in PSN accounts on the other users as well. This is to show that we can log in multiple PSN accounts on a PS4. Now let us go ahead and check our user 3. Activate our jailbreak. Go back to the Apollo save tool. Use your tools. And we will notice that the user 3 also has its PSN account. Now if we have a save file here, 
and you want to transfer the save file to a different jailbroken PS4, just copy the user ID and use it on the PS4 offline account activator. But using Apollo Save Tool, you don't have to use an existing PSN account to be used on your jailbroken PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions, suggestions, or encountered any issues within the whole process, just leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.